Bonjour, we share first. Are you ready to get real? We're going to get real. Come on, I want people to come and sit down on these cushions, get closer. We're going to tell you the truth, but they're only giving me, I thought it was 15 minutes, I've got 13, so I'm going to do my best to fly through it. But please come on. I want to talk to you heart to heart. That's why I'm here. Brain to brain, but most importantly, heart to heart. So come and join in. Come and get closer. So I'm here to tell you the real truth. What do we really know about the global sharing economy? We've spent about 18 months aggregating all of the data from around the world into a report that is freely downloadable from compareandshare.com. It's available for everybody to see into really accessible infographics. So this is about what we really know. We've looked at the data, and this is the truth. Okay. So it's the first comprehensive overview of data from around the world, but it's living research. If you have pieces of research, send them in. We will include them. Told you it was real. Okay, so the data tells us that we have much to celebrate. The sharing economy is growing faster than Facebook, Google, and Yahoo combined. It's been valued at 15 billion in its first seven years. But economic growth is only a tiny part of this picture. Participation is on the rise. 28% of people are actively engaging in sharing activities globally. Participation is set to double within the next 12 months. The highest rates are in the Asia Pacific region with 78% of people willing to share goods. A whole generation are sharing. I call them generation share. 24 to 34 year olds. 57% say they can find everything they need to rent or borrow online. 73% say the sharing economy is important to them. A seismic shift is happening. We look at these sharing economy drivers, saving and making money, sustainability and the collective good, technology, a shift in values to real values, community values, the stuff that matters. Sharing economy barriers, we know this, the number one barrier being trust, followed by safety and privacy, ease of sharing, and insufficient knowledge of how to get started. But the good news is that the barriers are being broken. We're launching on Global Sharing Week on the 7th of June, a share trade trust kite mark that will help people feel safer when they share. We want to grow the sharing economy. There are over 300 trust providers worldwide. And we know we have a directory with over 7,500 sharing economy platforms around the world. This movement is growing. This economy is growing. This is what the data tells us. This is the truth. There's even a comparison marketplace for the sharing economy. Future predictions. 40% say they will attempt new types of sharing in the future. 40%. 91% of sharers say they'll recommend sharing services via social media. 60% of adults in the UK say they'll swap goods in the future. 91% of adults say they'll continue sharing in the future. These are the, this is the data from around the world. This is the true picture. This is what's really happening. Because the truth is, is that the sharing economy is delivering social and environmental impact. Car sharing could save 3 million tons of carbon per year. Just look at the UK, 13.2 million meals were diverted from landfill by fair share and delivered to people in food poverty by fair share. That's one single organization. Just think about all the many organizations. Craigslist diverted 5 million tons of goods from landfill in 2014. And we know from Aaron's research the sharing economy is delivering three times greater impact for low-income communities. The truth is, 
that rather than being lost in transition, we are building the future. That is what we're doing. The movement is growing. We Share Fest, bringing together people from around the world to celebrate the sharing economy. Last year, Global Sharing Day from the People Who Share reached over 100 million people around the world and is now becoming a whole week. Shareable, bringing the most comprehensible content on the sharing economy from around the world. The Mesh, incubating and instigating. Collaborativeconsumption.com, educating and informing. Peers, helping you work in the sharing economy. This is the stuff that's happening. And this is why we need to focus on the positive. If we focus on the problems, we create problems. We focus on the positive, we focus on the solutions, we deliver the solutions. We're finding ways to deliver on profit and purpose. We're tackling complexity. We're dealing with controversy. We're innovating, we're collaborating. This is the stuff that's happening. told you it was real, right? Come on. Okay, it doesn't want to behave. Okay. So though the challenges are many, the solution is a single one. The solution is sharing. And the data shows that we have everything that we need right here to build this sharing economy, and we are building it. We're building it together. So we can end We Share Fest knowing what our vision is, not being lost in transition, and knowing how to get there. Because what we know about the sharing economy is yes, it's true, we have a lot of work to do, but this is happening. We can build it. We know we can build it. Everyone in this room, stand up. Stand up if you believe that this is happening. This is the data, this is the truth. Stand up if you're with me. Who's with me? These are the solutions. We're doing it. This is not being done by someone else. It's us. We are here right now creating these solutions. It just shows you the power of people. This is what we can do. This is what we're doing. This is what we've done. And this is what a sharing economy is about. It is about coming together to collaborate and share and change the world together. I'm Benita. Thank you for sharing.